You ain't miss nothing. We went to the, man, we went to the dining hall. They trying to set up a contraption to catch anybody who might be the mastermind in the act. And that's about it. You can feel the care he put into making it. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. So they told me to keep it. Alright, whatever. Hey, dude, would you like to have some tea? Tea and chat. Oh, so I should have gave him the tea. Fuck it. But he still did like it, apparently. So, fuck it. By the way, who's the most unique person here in your eyes? Uh, let's see. You got the robot. Chick who swears and, uh, keeps saying shit like she's a hoe that, uh, let's do bus on her. And then, old dude who low-key might have, like, some incest bullshit going on with his sister. Who's the most unique? I'll go me you. Fuck it. Miu. Yeah, Miu's talent is beyond understanding for ordinary people like us. But I understand. Her. Oh, so you were just talking about talents. I'm trying to think about what the other. Hold up. Who the hell was the third person in that list again? I don't remember. But yeah, I would say Miu's probably. Because I don't remember what the third person on that list talent was, so. But I understand her thought process. She likes to be the one on top. On top? <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to make a joke. I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. I blame the parents. They haven't properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who's done something for you. It will make that person feel happy and they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. Nigga, that's not what thank you's about. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. So always say thank you to people and make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. Nigga. Uh, why are you always out here, son? Huh? Hmm, what's up? You look super panicked. Are you here to stop the fighting? Yeah, I am. If you know about the fight, why, are you, why aren't you stopping it? Why should I? Something's finally happened to break up all the bored, boring tedium. Boring? Besides, you know, don't you, Kaede? The time limit is at 10 p.m. tonight. It's just around the corner. If people feel like they need to take action to survive, why are you, who are you to stop them, Kaede? But by the same token, who am I to stop you from stopping them? So go stop them. I believe in you. That's definitely a lie. So who fighting? That's what I want to know. What's going on in here? Oh, Kaede, perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Kaede. Rayoma started talking crazy. All I was doing is making a suggestion so that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. Um. What? Ryoma, explain. So that more people can survive, Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we're all going to get a lot annihilated, you know. The only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing game. Huh? What? Now hold on a minute. Kill me. Huh? Ryoma, what are you saying? You don't get that either? I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. I don't have a reason to live anymore. So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. No, no way. We promise we all get out of here together. Hmm. I hope that it end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we just waited, been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? No, it's not idealism. This is the best choice for the situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. 
after that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. How about it? If you got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Um, um well, uh, what should I do? Maybe if I share Shuichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Actually, Ryoma, there's no need for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to end this game. There's no need for that because I'm going to end this game. I've already decided. Huh? You're going to end this game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Can you even accomplish such a feat? Yeah. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. And how will you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> Sorry, can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. What do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Just what I said. I'm going to end this game. Really? So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, alright? Unnecessary? You've still got a ways to go. When you put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Alright, I got it. I'll take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. Rothero left, but what he said had really affected me. Man, I'm going into this because I forgot what other information that I get on Rontaro because I know I up my level with him. He's very aware of his surroundings, able to make good observations and rational decisions. It's almost like he's used to doing this kind of thing. Okay. Okay. So, uh... I legit forgot your name. From there, everyone else can decide what should be done. My desire to fulfill the desires of others. So, I shall comply with everyone's final decision. But what if everybody's final decision isn't the same thing, so how the hell are you supposed to comply with everybody's desires? I shall observe. Your beauty, as you all accept that end is upon you. Okay. And she's gonna say some shit about Athua again. Mm -hmm. Athua has spoken. All humans will die eventually. But I'm not scared because I got Athua with me. Real shit, I feel like you part of a cult. Sumugi, who I swear is never around. Good morning, Kaede. Morning. Hey, so earlier I saw Shuichi. Huh? What? Um, I saw Shuichi come out of Miyu's research lab. Oh, you don't say. I wonder what he was doing in there so early in the morning. Like I thought. I don't think that anything happened, but in a life or death situation like this, you expect people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? What? This is the one that has that hidden message on the board, right? Well, I ain't gonna be able to see it because he's gonna immediately talk. Yep. Shuichi. Sorry I'm late, Shuichi. No. Ah, uh, it's alright. I just got here too. How did it go? Did me you finish the cameras? Yes. She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. That shit look makeshift as a motherfucker. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. And do the cameras have flashes? Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. It shouldn't be a problem. But we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. Yeah, I'll be careful. So do I just have to talk to him about the other reason? Oh, I... That was not there, but... Son... This right here. That was not there before. Uh, is this a vent? It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. This, yeah, she keeps talking about how you smell like musty old books and junk. After Shuichi told me that, I'll lean in closer to the vent. 
Oh, it smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember the duct we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. I don't remember noticing a duct. But a vent in a classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about the school is odd. This vent is the other reason I chose the specific classroom to keep watch. It's finally plan time to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. My heart is racing. Whoa. Now that Whoa. I'm up here, this uh. is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Uh, sorry. <laughs> so you did see them. Man, I, I don't know the last time I heard them referred to as delicates. Fuck out of here. Well, whatever. Can't unsee them anyway. This is the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah. It de yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's ballads. I actually really like complicated contraptions like Rube Goldberg's machine and stuff. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Last time I saw Rontoro, he was alive and well. Why did Rontoro die here? What do you mean die here? I mean, if Rontoro was the one who moved the bookcase, like this shit doesn't make any sense because he was, they was all having a strategy meeting. The seven of them was having a strategy meeting in the game room. That would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? That's a good question because it looked like he was pointing right towards the, see now I'm doing my investigation shit. The way that he was pointing it looked like he was facing right towards the camera when he got killed. And it's evident from the blood splatter. And I think the trajectory of the blood splatter is going to have something to do with the case. Which was on the wall where the camera was at. I don't know how blood splatter, blood was splattered from you throwing a metal shot put at the back of somebody's head. So... I want to look at the blood splatter right here, yo, but they won't let me, so... Okay, I can't do nothing about these books. Yeah, I want to talk about the fucking blood, the fucking metal shot put. Shot itself is heavy. You should have to be very strong to use it as a weapon. And if I wasn't sure that I already knew who the fuck it was through Wikipedia shit, I would point towards going to fairly strong, huh? Bloody shot put has been added to the wait. Never mind. I was going to say, what if somebody just used it and smashed them in the back of the head, but I don't think that's the case. Um, he didn't have a key card on him? Could it a car key on him? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Then Rotoro... Nigga, we've been through this. If he was a mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the car key. So, with what we know now, there's the most likely possibility. Why was Rontoro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Because he probably saw who some... He probably saw somebody wandering over to the library while everybody else was going to the game room, so he followed them in. Sounds like a setup. Sounds like a setup. Is this all there is to investigate about the thing? Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? We finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Yeah, sorry. Is that really all the clues for the first case? It's not about our Fox and everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the killing game itself. That's the real goal. Could it be? Then it's possible 
He noticed the hidden door in the library just like we did. What? He might have come to the same conclusion we did that the mastermind would come here. You mean, he had the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. We could have worked together. Nigga, you didn't tell him. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Yo, that, that zoom in freaked me out for a second, yo. I was like, so what is that? Remember, Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. We're not going to give up, right? We're going to save everyone. Shuichi. Okay, so the investigation is not over yet. Okay, there's a back door. I don't think we need to know anything about that. I was about to say, what about the vent? The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. And we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit. I don't think the culprit came in or out through there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I wish I didn't know what I know because yeah. hey, I might have been able to figure this shit out myself. Maybe the moving ladder I used to. Used to reorganize the books on the top of the bookcase. Nothing out of the ordinary here. You sure? So nothing about that. All right. Body. Okay. Is there anything off about the bookcase? The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. Guys, set up a security kit sensor on top of the bookcase, right? Okay. Yeah. It should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember. Still here. I should take it down. Uh, Monokuma kid is going to show up and take this one too, and then. Wood removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's all right. I'll turn the receiver off. Huh? You can turn it off? Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to. Did you never think of the possibility that Ryoma might have possibly ended up being the mastermind while you saying that bullshit out loud? But exactly when did the receiver go off though? No, it went off while... Okay. I was trying to remember exactly when the receiver actually went off the first time. You know, it was when he went back to the classroom. I... Yeah, it was definitely when he went back to the classroom. Uh, I don't think the globe is of any importance, but fuck it. It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Anything about the front bookcase? I don't think so, though. Tons of books are currently on the bookcase of various stacks on top. Doesn't seem as if anything's been changed since we set up the cameras. Wait. Remember, the books that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah. Those have been left alone. Crashy skank! Don't talk to me, crotch itch! I'm fucking busy! Miyu continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the, with the controller. What's that controller for? Dun 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 dun! It's a prone! Prone? Um. I don't mean the button in the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. 
if it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the ganglion alliance and destroy human. Nigga, what is you talking about? She talking about anime again? I have no idea what she's talking about. Wait a second. The controller is. Now you're getting it, dick cheese. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. On the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Neil Abrumer. It's a drone. I told you that's it. You mean drone? If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. What are you talking about? I don't get it. We didn't have time to make this. I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for. So I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. Even though I think I already know who did it, but at the same time, I would automatically suspect her. If I did, actually, I would, I would have two suspects right now. Her and somebody else. Who I'm not gonna mention if I didn't know who did it because so yeah, but she's an inventor. That's why she was in the warehouse ready to do that. So if she was just all about the inventions, then she wouldn't sell your hands with just the shop football. So then that would make me think she probably didn't do that shit. I can't do shit about that. So just call me a tiny t So once again, yo, fucking Kaede does not have small boobs, yo, but I right. Compared to you, maybe, but son, chill. Oh, Shut up, my chest is way better than that nasty than your nasty cow udders. Every single time she says anything to her, yo. What did I do? Udders? Udders? You're a bit whippy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Yeah, I noticed it. So, uh, can I do any? No, I can't do anything about the fucking drone. Can I blow up the drone? No. Okay. Yo, give me some coin. I need more coin. I'm trying to buy some shit at the gift store. Give people presents later so I can find out some more crap about them. The only person I know anything about is Rontoro and now he's dead. I don't think I need to know anything about the sliding door, but can I talk to Sumi? Sumiji. Ah, what the fuck was that? I don't know who killed Rontoro, but it's Monokuma's fault, isn't it? Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave us is part of it. But so was the strange music. That's terrible. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick, sick and want to kill. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rontaro. So am I the fault. Subliminal messaging that I wouldn't know about if I didn't watch the anime to fit to wrap up the uh, first two games. But yeah, that's what I'm getting from it. It's that same subliminal messaging that they use on that one. Especially in the future art because it was the same type of monitors. Because they had to do a killing game during the future art. Except then you ended up realizing that the entire time. <laughs> anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. You just have to. So that shit was crazy because they killed the mastermind like halfway through that shit. Did I even talk to No, I ain't talked to you. I forget your name every single time, son. Why did the culprit not step forward? And take advantage of the first bu subliminal messaging, and they didn't know they did it. Huh? 
What? Yeah. The culprit must have killed to survive, so this is odd that they would not step forward. True. I wonder what true. that means. I can think of several possibilities, but worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive. It was to kill everyone here. Huh? Everyone? That would explain why they would for forgo the survive. Oh, yeah, I was thinking, I was like, hold up, that makes no sense. Yes, it does. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stress to you? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's yeah. certainly plausible. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. We cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Okay. I think she, we, she's the only one I didn't know. I talked to Ryoma already, right? I don't fucking know. Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know too. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? And let me just warn you, the way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix it, who killed my boy Rontaro? Man, shit, I know. I'm pretty sure I know. Actually, I do know because of Wikipedia bullshit. I shouldn't have fucking been reading that shit while I was going through shit about the first two games. But, fuck it. What do you mean? Be careful. I mean, that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. I might have been able to figure this out myself without that bullshit. At this point, I would have had two primary suspects on who did it. Actually, no, I would say three. If I knew nothing about this game at all. Because I would say that I would also suspect Shuichi. Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah, I remember. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? No one even touched it. So how did that happen? Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Is that alright? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, he let go of the bookcase and after waiting for a bit. Wait. So somebody had just let go of the bookcase as soon as they got down. Okay, if I didn't know who did this, this whole thing would throw me the fuck off. Oh, it closed on its own. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back at the... You went inside. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. But wait, the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door. Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just behind past the hidden door. Okay. I'm gonna say this. At the time they found the body, that door was already closing. Unless behind that hidden door, there's another passage that loops. Whoever did it, man, I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing this as if I don't fucking know, but still. Unless the person who did it, like, 
How much time did they have to wait before the stupid thing closed, yo? Because he just said, he just waited some time, and then it closed. If you're right, after killing Rontaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the car reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again and revealed the hidden door once more. So the dust is probably gone because the person went through. Man, that thing opens way too slow, son. Hurry up. Damn, son. All right, let's see. We lean in to get a closer look at the gap in the car reader. So I'm assuming I want to fail the class trial like 50 times, yo, so. That's still the. So nobody used the car read? That still has me with a question, though. Because that means that their original assumption was right in thinking that Rontaro found out about it. But. Wait, when did. The thing went, yo, the cameras went off when he came back after checking out what the seven of them were doing downstairs before, right? Or did it go off beforehand? I don't fucking know. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No. I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. I think it is safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Then the one who... The one who moved the... Moved the moving bookcase at the time was Rontaro. Yeah. Rontaro itself. No. I, I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Our reader does have been added to the true bullets of the section in the monocle pad. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end, end the killing game that way too. Ugh. See, that would make me suspect Suichi right there, son. What was that? Okay. So then it just went back in place right there. Didn't we check everything already? I feel like I checked everything. I checked the vents. I checked the ladder. I checked that bookcase. I don't think we need to know anything about this. I feel like I'm missing something. I should investigate a What? Yeah, I was assuming that was going to be nothing. Okay. They say I'm still missing something. What is it? Didn't I talk to everybody? Fucking bitch! Don't talk to me, you ugly skank! Quit interrupting the investigation! Huh, <laughs> damn it! The shot's out of your the shot's out of focus again. Your fucking face is blurring the lens, bitch. Huh? The floor plan might be used get investigation but it might not be finished in time for the class trial I guess I won't expect too much something about the door this is a rear door to the furthest door from the stairs and it leads to the hall hold up you got me thinking about every single clue that goes on here Furthest door from the stairs and it leads to the hallway that was my question before about how okay okay because that was my question before about, okay, if it, hypothetically, if it wasn't Rontaro who opened the bookcase, the reason why he was already dead on the floor and the bookcase was closed, yeah, because Rontaro couldn't have been closing it because he was already dead on the floor on the other side by the time they came in. So if it was somebody else who had opened the bookcase, then they would have, could have thrown the ball at him, opened the door, 
And then while everybody else was coming inside and discovered the body, they could have circled all the way around to go back inside. They'd be like, oh, a dead body. Really? Uh, by the way, this is a sliding door. See, it opened when you slide it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Matoro entered through this door? I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Mono Cubs. You're right. We'll just have to wait. Why are you trusting them with important evidence like that? It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through this door before we discovered Rontaro's body. We entered the library through here with Kaido and Tenko. But if you remember, those two... Man, never mind, yo, because if it came to this, yo, it would be like, yeah, I was, at this point, I would suspect like five people. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then we ran over. That's true. We found Ronthro's body behind that bookcase. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Ronthro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. When we see the pictures after the monocles develop them, that would be clear. I guess all we can do is wait. Is that the last clue? I feel like that would be it. Yeah. Um. Alrighty. I think we investigated the entire library now. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we don't. You're right. We aren't any closer to finding out who the mastermind is. That's not what you said, but I had to improvise on that. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos once we get those. But then again, you can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Keep investigating, yes. I think we could collect the alibi. Yeah, that is an important part of this shit. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rontaro was killed. If that's the case, then who should we question? You can question the six people who went down to the game room with him. That would be the best place to start. Mm -hmm. Yup, same page. Six people that went down to the basement with Rontaro. Kaido, Gonta, Mon Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. They should have been in the game room along with Rontaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Okay. Oh, hold on. So none of them are in the... Why aren't all of them just investigating this junk at the same time? Whatever. Was this stuff broken already the last time? Probably. I don't know. Okay. So why is Maki the only one in here? Hmm. Maki... Were you in the game room when Ronto was killed? What were you all doing down here? Ronto was with... Kaido's... Didn't Kaido tell you they were all down... Oh yeah. And it would actually be a smart plan to ask her while she's alone exactly what it was. Because if she says something different, then Kaido would be a primary suspect. What are you doing down here? Ronto was with you, right? Am I a suspect? Oh no, that's not what I meant. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Because. Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. So trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose. Got it? can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as... I forgot that was her ultimate ability, son. I can't imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But why were you all here in the first place? It was Kaido's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. Don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. The ultimate child caregiver, useful in a fight. 
I was about to say, why didn't you go with the robot? I forgot the old robot. The robot said he has the same strength of a 70 year old man. So yeah, never mind. He's out. Yo, is it really on a real? Yo, when I think about them compared to the people from the first game, I'm like, they kind of trash because I feel like Sakura could watch. Well, yeah, Sakura was ridiculous. I forgot what her ability was. I think she, yeah, she was an ultimate martial artist. So yeah, like Sakura will wash a bunch of them. If you're going, if you're going to count them, then yeah, Mokuro, Ultimate Soldier, wash all of them. Uh, you had the Ultimate Biker Gang Leader. I don't know how much that's going to do, but at least he could scrap. I don't think anybody else had would have had hands like that in that house. Kyoko talked a tough game, but I have no idea what she can do. And Ioi has athletic abilities, but she doesn't show it off like that. So, okay, I forgot completely who the list is. Besides Gonta, fuck out of here. Okay, Gonta and Tenko, I get. Unless he believes that Himiko actually has magic powers. Okay, what the hell is Angie going to do in a fight? What the hell is Ron Toro going to do in a fight? Except that you have to look at everybody else and I'm like, okay. That doesn't look like a good lineup for a fight. Okay, she was going to get there by, a, oh. But um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight though. Kaido thought Himiko, okay. Kaido's really that stupid, huh? Okay. I kind of thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to Atua would be useful. But what about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child kit? Why didn't he... Wait. Was she there? No. I don't think she was. Because I was thinking of uh, Karumi and I was like... Wasn't she so good as an ultimate maid that she was once given... The order to destroy an entire rival country by herself, but she refused to do it just because she could. She saw the impossible, but that's how strong she is. So why wouldn't you bring her? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, "Yeah, you probably know how to." F Kaido's retarded, yeah. You know. That's it. Jeez. That does sound like something Kaido would do though. Yeah, it does. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? Beats me. Maybe Kaido figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other, in other words, it was just a coincidence. And what was Rontaro doing at that time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? He was at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. Kaido and Tenko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before the time expired. That must have happened around... Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. Your time is perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Then, did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Hold up, how the fuck do I bring up the transcript again? Okay, see, and Gonta was one of my subjects. See, right now, if I went back and saw that, Gonta would be my primary sub, My, uh, primary, uh, suspect. Gonta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself? Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. What other two? Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. On a real, this, this investigation started out simple enough. Shuichi. Hey Shuichi, the AV room is that room in the back, right? Kaede, have you never been there? It was locked when I came here before. 
Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. This old Kaido. Here we go. I'm going to. Wait, Gota not murder anyone. I told you. We're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No, it's him all right. He's got the face of a killer. I think that's a reference. That might be the reference of the first game. Either that is, I don't know. Because I wouldn't have said that his face looks like, um, like he looks like a combination of Sakura, Byakuya, and Toko from the first game. And Toko was a serial killer. So, uh, yeah. No judge going to buy his outside. On inside, going to gentlemen. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. Yeah. Just tell us why you're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Or are you not not the culprit? Or are you not 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 the culprit? Go to not 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 uh uh uh. It's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. I think your questions are the problem. And I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. I don't know because I don't know how much the apple costs. That's totally off topic. Do your own math homework. You know? Hey, Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? But what were you doing here alone? Gonta happy to be invited to meet him, but Gonta think he not much help because he not... Oh, yeah, he did say that before. I'm sorry. So, Gonta in here alone watching Bug Movie. Huh? Um, uh, what? How does that help? Bug Movie filled Gonta with fight. Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. So it helps you fight? Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But why was it locked? What was locked? My magic. If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Uh, Gonta no can become girl. Then Gonta never become gentleman. Himiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta can no fill up with fight. Honest. That it, really. Gonta just want to protect everyone. But you guys not going to believe Gonta, huh? Because Gonta so big and scary looking, huh? Calm down. You're making a really scary face. Cause Gonta feel so useless. <clears throat> After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? Is this important? There are some posters rolled up in the rubber bands in the cylindrical bucket. Is this a movie poster? They're all the same too. I took the poster out and unrolled it. For real, nigga? I know that ain't a real thing, man. They ain't really coming out with the Ultra Despair Girls too. It looks like a game, but I've never heard of it before. A high school girl with a megaphone and a serial killer. Sounds like some lame spin up. Wow. Good job breaking the fourth wall. And talking shit about your own game, but I. Right. Uh, um. Is this one of Monokuma's pranks? Probably. Ah. Easter eggs. Ah, that was fun. That's why it's good to know background information about some shit. There are a lot of movies crammed into this bookcase. Oh, The Legend of 1900. I've always wanted to see this film. We don't got time for that. The one with the pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? This film 
won awards for the phenomenal music, U.S. audiences were moved to tears. Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. What else do we... What else do they have here? Hmm. I grabbed the movie at random and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. What? Um. Find any movies over there? Um, nothing suspicious over here. Let's go look somewhere else. What happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? That's wrong. Uh, I said it's nothing. Oh, she sounds. She's. <laughs> There's nothing here but a bunch of movies. I mean, movies. Wait. Kaede, you're panicking. It's okay if you found a clue. You can tell me. Here, let me. She found some porn. Oh, no, don't come over here. A couple of minutes later, we were both looking down at the floor with beat red faces. All right. I told you. Well, let's investigate something else. So nobody else won't question exactly what they found? Movie rat. <laughs> Does the speaker have anything to do with anything? I bet this huge speaker produces some high quality sound. That's not relevant now. Is something going to pop off in the game room later? Because you like, oh, that's not relevant now. Okay. The video player for watching movies. There's no video inside, though. This doesn't have anything to do with the case. So if you didn't say that, it would have made me suspicious. It's a screen for the projector, but the projector is turned off. If you roll up the screen, you can use it as a long pole of sorts. Hmm, so what? I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Use how? Sometimes you say some weird things, Shuichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Okay. Ah, uh, you think so? Sorry. You could treat it as me talking to myself. The culprit is definitely Gulta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. No, it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Yeah, really? Even so, it's definitely Gulta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Um, no. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? Investigating is a pain. Okay, so I can tell Gonta and you are not going to be useful during the class trial at all. All you probably going to do is say stupid crap to throw everything off. Got it? Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all I care. Uh... It's impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. Nigga. Stop being so lazy and put some actual effort into solving this. Real talk. He's ah, all right. he... No! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm Damn, done with this game. Are... I'm done with Damn. this game. For the day. Motherfucker. Spirit praising beauty. All I want is a girl with a big ass booty. Please. Oh fuck. We doing this now? Oh! Get your face in my face so I can bust your ass. Oh I, like, son, I felt like there was way too much time and I was like, nigga. I was like, son, I'm at 42. I was like, mess the fuck up, yo. I was like, this nigga. Fuck out of here. Get that blood flow. She said from the tip to the base. <laughs> no, don't fight it. You all right. <laughs> Blackout! 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 Blackout!